Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today is grade seven, lesson 14 from unit four percent error. In our first warm up question for today, we have number talk, estimating a percentage of a number. And we're supposed to estimate you know, 25 percent of 15 and 8 tenths. Well, I kind of think of that as what is a fourth of 16. And of course, that's going to be 4. 9% of 38, well, you can estimate either part here, right? So we can look at maybe 10% of 40. Well, how about 4? 1 and 2 tenths percent of 127. Again, a lot of different options here, but what if we look at 1% of 130? Well, that would be one and three tenths. What about half a percent of six? Well, one percent of six is equal to six hundredths. And so half a percent is going to be equal to three hundredths. And then six hundredths of a percent of 202. As we piece that one together, let's look first at 1% of 200. Well, 1% of 200 is going to be 2. What about 1 tenth of a percent of 200? That's going to be 2 tenths. What about one hundredth of a percent of 200? That's going to be two hundredths. And six hundredths of a percent is going to be six times bigger than that. So we're going to be looking at twelve hundredths. All right, continuing on now, plants, bicycles, and crowds. Instructions to care for a plant say to water it with three-fourths cup water every day. The plant has been getting 25% too much water. How much water has the plant been getting? Well, if we're getting 25% too much, we're basically asking if three-fourths is what we're supposed to be getting, what is 25% of three-fourths? Now, one way to do that is to look at the fraction version of 25%, which is one-fourth. Multiply those two numbers together and we get three-sixteenths. Well, it's beginning three-sixteenths cups too much every day. And so if we take our three-fourths we're supposed to get and add the three-sixteenths extra that it's been getting, this will tell us how much water the plant's been getting. So we need common denominators, and common denominators for fourths and sixteenths is just sixteenths. You have three sixteenths there. Four times four is sixteen, so three times four is twelve. Twelve sixteenths is the equivalent version of three fourths. Add those together, and we get fifteen sixteenths cups of water every day. Moving on now to question two. The pressure on a bicycle tire is 63 pounds per square inch. This is 5% higher than what the manual says is the correct pressure. What is the correct pressure? Well, if we assume that the correct pressure is P, we can then add the 5% extra that were higher than the manual says, and that's going to result in 63. So if we simplify this, this is really just one P, and so one and five hundredths times the correct pressure is equal to 63. In other words, 105% of the correct pressure is equal to 63. Now, if we go ahead and divide by one and five hundredths here on both sides. 
we're going to end up with our correct pressure being 60 pounds per square inch. Continuing on now to three. The crowd at a sporting event is estimated to be 3,000 people. The exact attendance is 2,486 people. What is the percent error? Well, to find percent error, we need to find the amount of error and divide it by the actual amount of people. Well, the amount of error was 3,000 minus 2,486, which ends up being 3,000 minus 2,486, 514. So 514 people divided by the actual 2,486. When we divide that, we're going to get a funky decimal. 0 decimal point two zero six seven five, and it keeps going. Get it back into a percent. This is going to be 20, and we'll call it 7 tenths percent error. So as we continue on now to our next question, measuring in the heat. A metal measuring tape expands when the temperature goes above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. For every degree Fahrenheit above 50, its length increases by 0 0.00064, so tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, so 64 hundred thousandths of a percent. If the temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, how much longer is a 30 foot measuring tape than its correct length? And then calculate what is the percent error. So perhaps the first thing we need to look at is how many degrees above 50 are we? Well, if we take 100 and subtract the 50 degrees, we are 50 degrees above 50. All right. And so for every degree above 50, the length increases by that small percentage. Well, we're 50 degrees above and it increases by that small percentage for every degree. 50 multiplied by 0.5. 0, 0, 0, and we're going to need to, since we move this over twice, two more zeros, 6, 4. That's going to be 0 0.00032. Well, what of 30 feet is that? 30 times 0 0.00032 is going to get us a solution here of 0 0.0096. And really small numbers, but can be, you know, significant when it comes to the air, perhaps. Well, what is the percent air? The amount of air was 0 0.0096 feet divided by the actual amount, which was a 30 foot measuring tape. And we take those two numbers and divide. We end up with the decimal 0 0.00032, which is 0.032%. All right, as we head towards our summary now, percent error can be used to describe any situation where there's a correct value and an incorrect value, and we want to describe the relative difference between them. For example, if a melt carton is supposed to contain 16 fluid ounces and it only contains 15 fluid ounces, the amount of error is 1, and the percent of error is 6 and 25 hundredths percent because 1 divided by 16 is 0 0.0625. We can also use percent error when talking about estimates. For example, a teacher estimates there are about 600 students at their school. If there are actually 625 students, then the percent error for this estimate was 4% because the amount of error was 25, and 25 divided by the 625 was four hundredths, which is 4%. All right, that's it for this grade seven, unit four, lesson 14 lesson on percent error. Good luck.